Love Lego? Love chess? These cards allow you to take a normal game of chess and turn it into a fun building event! Dak Skak! Stound your friends! Foil your foes! Dak Skak! Build a Medusa! Rotate the chessboard! Drown your enemies in the lake! Unleash the dogs of war! Hide behind stone walls like a coward! Feed creatures steak! I know what you're thinking! When can I skip this ad? You can't! Stack Scat is that powerful! Stack Scat! Get it at drivethroughcards.com! Product is unofficial, not endorsed by Lego. Hey, my fellow Lego fans! Welcome to another edition of This Old Lego Brick. Featuring me and my Lego City. I know it's been a while for a city update, and I wanted to thank you for suffering through that obnoxious commercial. But if you are interested in Stack Skak, Stack Skak, Stack Skak, I'll leave a link below in the description. All right, let's get started. But wait, I want to say thank you. I've reached over a thousand subscribers. And I want to say that I appreciate all of your support, your comments, um, and to allow me to kind of be me. Um, you know, the silliness, uh, such as the intro. And, um, I'm not like that around my friends as much. Um, this is only for you guys. So I just want to say um, it's been a great journey and I hope it continues. So um, thanks. And uh, look for a future 1000 subscriber video. I'm thinking about, I don't know, another giveaway or something. But that's for next time. Let's focus on today. All right, come on, let's check it out. First thing I want to show you is I completed the track. Now, not all of it is underground, but you'll soon see what I've done. There's the subway. And here is the track and the portion of the city that I'm planning to elevate. And in the background, you can see the rest of the buildings. I've kind of organized it from the jumbled mess that I had before. You will see that I don't have certain buildings and it's not that they're not here, I have them, they're just not on the layout as of yet. One of them being the Spider-Man Battle Bridge. And my Slope Road. Let's take a better look at what I'm going to do. So wherever you see track, I'm going to elevate the town. And then through the center here, I'm hoping to build a canal. I have a little problem because the track layout that I have is going to have a hard time getting connecting the lower port portion with the upper portion. And I have a few ideas and I might shorten it up a little bit and have a slope road coming down through the middle from this street, from this street here, down through here. And I have to do a lot of little changes. But I'm um, hopefully, if I can put it back just a little bit, like a, like 16 studs, this direction, then I will have enough space for roughly 13 more modular size buildings. And um, that will give me plenty of room to expand the city while keeping it in this small area. And here is the 
space that I'm working with. This is roughly four large gray base plates wide and five large gray base plates in length. And if I can shore up that side a little bit and shove it over about 16 studs, I'll have enough to replace these regular base plates that are lining here, you see on the beach area, with another row of large gray base plates. Now, another thing I've done is I've moved it away from the wall, which I originally had it before I expanded it. So now I can walk around the entire city, as well as the kids, and play Superman Cam! Now these buildings will either stay here or they'll go on top of my elevated sections when I get more pieces. There's never enough pieces, never enough. But I can't complain. I think I'm doing quite well. And this is not where the lighthouse goes, but, or the shipwreck. I'm just putting it here because I have very little room. You can see here, I got this big old desk I wanna move and all this stuff over here. Take a little closer look at me. I did this quite a long time ago. It's just been on my shelf. What after I bought the train and started reconfiguring everything, I had an entire beach beach, beach walk. But I plan on returning it and expanding on it. You see a little mock popcorn and a mock fortune teller next to it. I'll give you a closer look at that. And here is my mock pizza and game store. Still working on it, putting a few finishing touches, as well as an expanded bike shop. And of course, there's the Citibank Superman. And if this is the first time you're watching, the reason why I use large gray base plates is because I want my entire town to be sectional so I can just shift it around in case I just want to change it up. So the entire town in, in essence is sort of modular, including the train track. I have a Batman and the Joker hanging out between the newest modular set. look at the rest of the city from this angle. So this is a, exactly why I wanted to pull it out from the wall so I can reach all these little areas here and work as I go. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you. And until next time, happy building.